guys welcome back to my youtube channel and for this video it is all about again ojt and we are on episode number six the frequently asked questions about my internship in salaire and maybe ito na yung last because wala na akong maisip na content about ojt so if you do have any ideas for me to do so go comment nyo lang dyan and without any further ado, let's get started because i think this will be lengthy <laughs> First question, ilang days ka ulit na email for medical sa aming situation a few hours after our interview because nagmamadali na kami nun para makaabot kami sa deployment kasama ang batch 1, 2, and 3 because I am included sa batch 4 and 5. For the interview, will it be done virtually? Lang po or meron din pong on-site or may initial and final interview ba? So in our case, meron kami pre-interview between the internship office in my university and me. Then after that, meron na kaming interview din sa Solaire which is done virtually. Mostly virtual nila kinakandak yung mga interviews nila for the OJT. My requirements po ba for interview? Aside from your resume of course, and syempre dapat nakakorpo attire ka during the interview even though ano lang siya virtually. Then put lipstick on, ganun, or do your eyebrows be presentable. Do you have an email or walk-in magpapasa ng resume? So the Solaire Resort and Casino prefer to receive resumes online so they have email and you can send your resume to them. Pwede po ba diretso mo regular or apply for a job? Yes! Of course, the possibility of Solaire to absorb interns is quite high because mag-open din sila na another branch sa North, sa QZ, Solaire North. This 2023, natanggap po ba sila ng OJT? How about sa casino po? Solaire Resort and Casino, yes, natanggap sila ng OJT pero hindi sila tatanggap ng interns sa casino areas or gaming operations kasi we are restricted in being exposed to that areas. However, meron niya mga certain portions na ma-expose tayo dun. So, meron namang age talaga na pwede ka mapunta sa departments na merong exposure sa gaming operations. May rotation po ba within the different departments? Sad to say, in our case, wala kaming rotation of department. Hindi kasi yung pinagbigyan or inalaw sa amin. Pero feeling ko dati, hindi naman sa feeling ko, sabi-sabi lang ng mga regular yun na ngayon. Dati, oo, ano sila, nirorotate daw sila, pero ngayon hindi na kasi. Ganun, para siguro noon-noon pa, ganun. Ilang hours po ang required sa inyo and within how long yung span na natapos nyo siya. So, my university require us to have a 1,000 hours internship. So, yung first 400 hours nakuha na namin siya noong second year, second sem, virtually. And then, ngayong 600 hours recently, dun ko siya kinuha sa Solaire face-to-face na yung internship experience ko and natapos ko siya within 2 months and a half. It really depends sa department na pagdadeployan mo kung ano yung scheduling nila. Paano po yung scheduling and how many days a week po ang pasok? It really depends on the department you will be deployed. Sa department ko sa concierge we work 8 hours a day 6 days a week with 1 hour day off and depende sa shift like we have AM shift PM shift and mid shift. How about journals or report daily, weekly, or monthly if meron. It really depends on the university. Sa amin kasi meron kaming weekly report. Then after our internship experience, meron pa kaming testimony report and meron pa kaming narrative report. Familiar na po ba kayo now sa routes and schedules ng shuttle? So I can consider the location na rarantahan po na place kasi wala po available online. Yes, yeah, super familiar ako sa shuttle services and schedules nila. Bigyan naman nila yun sa inyo once you are accepted at and nakapag-orientation na. So, meron naman mga accommodation available online kasi online lang din naman ako naghanap sa mga condo, rent, something-something, Facebook groups, ganun. Talagang tiyagaan ka lang talagang hahanap na meron. And gaya nga nang sinabi ko sa mga previous vlogs ko, please, please do consider the accessibility and the time and yung convenience ng accommodation na gusto nyo pag-stay in. If sa seller kayo papasok kasi you will never know what your schedule will be and how tight it will be and yung traffic, yung pagod, ganon. So, please, please, please do consider and I highly suggest na around SMBC ni 
Kaya mawa na lang kayo kumuha ng condo. Kasi ganun din naman yung magiging price ng pagod, buya, transport fee, food expenses, and other such. May certain requirements po ba regarding attire? Like minimum height of heels, ganun. Yes. So, Larry Sorton kasi is very, very strict when it comes to grooming. Especially in our department. One of the departments that have uh, strict grooming. Your makeup mo, eyebrows, lipstick, earrings, your nails, your hair bun, even yung nameplate. Grabe, sobra. Sobra hipot nila. And malalaman mo siya sa orientation. Do they have allowance for the interns? No. They do not have any allowances for the interns. But super swerte mo if mapunta ka sa department na centralizing tips because magbibiyayaan ka ng tip 50% pero mabababasan yun once you are laging absent or lagi kang leave or dami mo excuses or late. Do they have free meals? Yes, they do have free meals every day. One free meal a day. Sarap naman. Ice cream all day. Try mo din. May bayad po ba ang OJT sa Soler? In my case naman, wala naman akong binayaran sa Soler. Maliban sa tuition ko. Hindi ko alam kung kasama yun. Pero sa tuition ko, nagpahid ako. Sa Soler, wala akong binayaran. Okay, down to our last question. May free accommodation po ba sila? Wala po. So, sagot nyo po yung accommodation nyo na pag-internshipan. So, ang free lang sa kanila ay free shuttle and free meal a day. So, that's it guys. These are the frequently asked questions about my internship in Soler. If you do have any more questions, clarifications, please do comment it down and I will answer it or message me in my Facebook account or Instagram and I will answer your questions as much as possible. Kung makikita ko siya kasi minsan kung saan saan napupunta yung mga messages nyo. And I hope you will like, subscribe, and share this video to anyone who wants clarification and needs this video to be heard kasi sharing is scary. Yeah. So there you have it guys. I hope to see you on my next vlog and please if may suggestion pa kayo na gusto nyo gawin ko go lang comment it down and thank you guys for watching bye